All right, this is going to be a short one. I want to talk about the method shorthand that shows up in ES6. Now, if you've written any classes in JavaScript, you've already done the method shorthand. I just wanted to show that this does exist inside of regular objects as well. So I have a very simple object here. I've got three properties. One's a number, one's a string, one's a Boolean, and then three others that are just sort of variants on the same thing, prop four, five, and six. All of them are methods inside this object, so I can call them obj.prop4 or 5 or 6. Each one of them is writing out obj, this variable, so whatever it is, and then this. Now, one of the big differences between writing the function this way or using the arrow syntax for the function is that when you call it and try to use this, Here we are with the regular function, and then these two, this is prop 5. So we're trying to call this inside the arrow function. We end up with just an empty object. It's referring back to the global object. We don't have the context that we do when we write the functions this way. That's one of the differences between this function and the arrow function is we lose the, the access to the keyword this, or the keyword this changes what it's referring to. Here is the method shorthand. So this is in ES6. We can write the name, and then we don't have to put colon, function, and then the parentheses. Just put the parentheses right after it. This is the name. This will be interpreted the same way as this one will. So if I change prop4 to prop6, clear this out, run it again. There we have it. Now number six is running first. It will give me the exact same result as prop four. It's just a shorter syntax for the same thing. And this is known as the method shorthand. This is how you create your functions or your methods inside of classes in JavaScript. But you can do it inside of just plain old objects as well. Hope you found that useful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. If you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.